Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about NBA 2K20's Patch 9. Now, a lot of people have come out with a couple videos about the patch, solely about the patch notes itself, which 2K is always vague about. But what I want to talk to you guys today is about the badges. The badges for Patch 9 are insane right now, man. A lot of people feel like the game has moved more towards slashing now and a lot of people can still shoot a couple can defend on the perimeter interior defense is non-existent but i want to tell you guys about the top five badges that you're going to need after patch nine now i do have a couple honorable mention badges which i'll go over later in this video but let's talk about the top five badges right now Yo, what's good, y'all? Before we hop into this video, I want to let you guys know the merch is out right now. The new Send Invite shirts is out. Go cop up. The link is in the description. The link is inside the comment section. Make sure when you cop it up, make sure you take a picture, send it to me on the gram, send it to me on Twitter, and I'm gonna repost you and everything like that. Appreciate all the support from you guys, man. We going crazy with the merch. <laughs> oh, by the way, y'all know where this logo is from. So the first badge that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be in the slashing category. Now, there's gonna be only one badge that you will need from this category, and I'm gonna show you guys with my new scoring machine build. This is the first time that I think that you guys have been able to see this build on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and grab your notepads as fast as possible. This build is not complete, which you guys see at the 91 overall, but I do have a few badges on this build that are definitely needed and I'm gonna show you guys here. Now, uh, one thing that I can say is uh, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. I learned a lot about the YouTube algorithm from Agent. He told me that you guys have to like videos. That's the only way that YouTube is gonna know to push my video out to people. So appreciate you for that. Now, let's go down to badges. As you guys have seen, I got 11 out of 15 of my finishing badges for this scoring machine. And the badge that you will need the number five badge on the list this is the reason why i say this is number five and not number three or one is because even with this badge on bronze big blow buys so slithery finisher is one of those badges that a lot of people didn't really know about in the beginning of the game a couple people tested it out on silver a couple people tried it on gold but i'm telling you right now all these people that you see rim running to the rack and finishing with no problem and you're like bro i got clamps on gold i'm I, I, why are they just running right past me it's because of slithery finish i i'm telling you guys right now if you can't get it on hall of fame i would advise you to create a build that can get it on hall of fame but if you can't just put it on to the max of its ability that you can get it to i promise you this badge will make everything worthwhile now the reason why this badge is top five for me is because with slithery finisher on hall of fame all these other badges they don't matter if you get slithery finisher to the max of its ability it doesn't matter if you guys have contact finisher or relentless finisher these badges honestly are just a little addition for you to catch bodies at the rim if you want to get to the rim and be able to finish without anybody bumping you taking your stamina slithery finisher is going to be it for you so let's go ahead and hop into the fourth badge okay so for the fourth badge on the list i'm gonna go ahead and load up my playmaker shot creator this build was made probably when the game first dropped i might have even made it before the game actually dropped back when we played 2k early but for this i'm gonna be showing you guys playmaking badges and shooting badges with this build we might hop into defensive but i'm gonna leave that for the extra part of the video like i was telling you guys about slithery there are badges in this game that a lot of people say are the best or work like this and work like that i watch a lot of nba 2k labs and i can tell you guys right now some of the badges that i've seen from them they tell us to dumb them down and everything like that but i can tell you guys right now there are some badges in this game that you could go ahead and bump up if you want to because i'm telling you it's going to help you a lot all right so for the fourth badge on the list it's going to have to be hall of fame volume shooter i know you guys are probably like volume shooter listen I know a lot of people are looking at the screen right now and they're telling me why isn't Hot Zone Hunter on right now. I'm telling y'all, even after patch nine, even though they fixed Hot Zone Hunter, which they broke, they broke Hot Zone Hunter. We had to find a replacement badge. I was not gonna waste four upgrades inside of a badge that just didn't work. 
I remember when I used to have Hot Zone Hunter on Hall of Fame. It was nice. It was cool, but it really didn't do me any justice when 2K said, well, your hot zones are in a revolving 25 game set. And by the way, we broke it. Hall of Fame volume shooter is the number four badge on the list. Now, when it comes to the third badge on the list, Dead Eye. I know you guys are like, Dead Eye? Listen, I would even put Dead Eye on Hall of Fame. You hear me? I would put Dead Eye on hall of fame guys the reason that i say this is if you have quick draw on hall of fame which is a, a standard badge if you don't have quick draw hall of fame on any build that is a shooting build or can shoot you're wasting your time if you don't already have range extender and you don't already have green machine whether they're on gold or hall of fame you're losing but when it comes to dead eye those people that think they can run out there and jump at you or those bigs can cut and put their hand up knowing they don't have any perimeter defense it's going to be green in their face every single time you shoot so please do not forget the fourth badge on this list volume shooter you can put this on silver to hall of fame i recommend if you're a shooting build go for hall of fame if you are not a shooting build or you are a shooting build and you don't have many options left go with silver okay if you're a shooting build dead eye on hall of fame no excuses if you are badge i guess a couple have a little bit of problems with your badges you know what i'm saying a little deficient go ahead and get dead eye on silver you at least want to have these two badges on silver or better okay please do not do this don't be one of those people that say bronze is enough because bronze is not enough i've tested it plenty of times i've let people run up to me i've shot in their faces I've taken shots. Yeah, volume shooter does pop up with bronze, but you have to understand the more shots you take, it boosts the shot percentage and the accurate shot takes. So if you put this on Hall of Fizzle, you Gucci. And don't forget that dead eye. Now, for the number two badge on the list, I'm gonna stay inside this build, okay? The second badge on this list. <sighs> y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready. Watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Tight handles. Hall of Fame. Now I told you guys, I haven't used this build in a long time. It's a pretty good build. I just haven't used it in a long time. I might start using it again, but once I get my scoring machine in 97, I may never come back. But the reason why you need tight handles on Hall of Fame, what's the best move or the most overly used move dribble in the game? The aggressive behind the back, behind screens, isolation, if you don't see an aggressive behind the back when you're playing at the park or even at the wreck most of the time, you're not playing against any comp or anybody who has watched the YouTube Steezo video, anybody who watched any dribble guide, you're just not going against them. So the reason why I say tight handles, in size up situations and other movesets, you are able to stagger your defender every almost every single time. Literally 90% of the time that you do the move, that person is going to get staggered. I don't know why, but it's, it's just staggerlicious, I guess. So, though, please don't mean me. But tight handles on Hall of Fame is the second badge on the list. And I'm telling you guys right now, you need it. All right. If you're doing aggressive behind the backs, you need that badge. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to another build to show you guys the number one badge that you're going to need after patch nine. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So for the last badge on the list, I'm going to go ahead and go to my glass cleaning lockdown. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. This dude done ran with two guard builds telling us the top four badges. Why is he going to a center to tell us the last badge? What could it possibly be that you need for the top badge from a center's perspective? Hey, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this badge it's for everybody. Yes, I'm going over to the defensive side of things. All right. Are you guys ready for the number one badge that you're going to need after patch nine? I Listen, y'all looking at my badges right now like, bro, this boy badges is all over the place. Now, if you are a guard and you're somebody that is very, very limited and how many badge upgrades they can get. Maybe you have four, maybe you have five, maybe you lucked up and put six, but if you have eight, this is perfect. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off all these badges and I'm gonna tell you why I believe that this is the number one badge that you're gonna need. If you are a person that has three badge upgrades, I'm sorry, this ain't gonna help you. If you're somebody that has four upgrades, sorry, this ain't gonna help you. If you have five upgrades or better, this right here will help you. You wanna put all the ball pests on silver or better. Now I know what y'all say, Apa, you tripping? There's so many other good badges out there. Why didn't you say clamps? The premise of this video is for badges that are very, very good after patch nine. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? After patch nine. Now, for those guards out there that have five or more badges, this is usually what your setup should look like. Now, I know a lot of people do this. They run gold clamps and they run silver pick dodger. I understand a lot of people is at the park a lot. But if you're playing twos, I understand why you have pick dodger. But if you're not playing twos, you need to have off ball pests and clamps. The reason that I say this is, with the way defense is gonna be being played in the next month or so on 2K, you're gonna see a lot of people holding their nuts, not to get ankle broken, but not to get rim ran on. And what you need to do is, if you're not playing full court defense on an offensive player, you're already losing the battle. If you're allowing the offensive player to get past half court without using any turbo, doing any dribble moves, trying to get away from you and your clamps, you're losing. There's no reason for you to have clamps on gold and not be guarding somebody full court. Now, the reason why off ball pest is so good is because when you run maybe two or three possessions with your clamps and the guard realizes he can't get past you, there's gonna be one of two things that happen. He's gonna say, yo, man, this dude on, you know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna curse, but he on, bro. You know what I'm saying? He guard, why he guard me full court, cuz? And he gonna pass it to his homie. But guess what you gonna do? You still gonna play full court defense, cuz guess what? With off ball pests, you still get to drop his stamina on the way up the court in the half court set. It don't matter. This person that you're guarding as a guard will never be able to have any stamina to do any real dribble moves to get away from you and finish unless he just get the ball and just try to rim run his to his heart's content if he thinks he's going to pull off a bunch of aggressive behind the backs cancellations has these and all that it ain't going to work because you're going to have two badges that knock down his stamina and hold on to this player so much now if you're one of those players that have up to eight upgrades and stuff like that tireless defender now this is an honorable mention this is a great setup for a guard now if you're a two-way if you a two-way playmaker and you can and you can rock out crazy, listen, I can't even lie to y'all, man. These badges right here, these all honorable mentions for my two-way playmakers out there. All right, these is all honorable mentions, but I'm telling y'all, man, all ball pests on silver is all you need. You know what I'm saying? If you got clamps on gold, go crazy. Now, for those people that have four badge upgrades and lower, this is where it gets tricky because clamps on gold sometimes gets negated by slithery and i'm telling you guys you're going to run into a lot of people with slithery on hall of fame coming in the next couple months especially with the christmas noobs on the way so i'm telling you guys now you want to make sure you have clamps you want to make sure you have off ball pests if you're a two-way this is super duper easy you got a lot of bad progress that you can put up so what i'm going to say to you guys if you have four upgrades i would do it like this just to give yourself an even playing field you know what I'm saying? If you got four or lower, give yourself an even playing field. If you have only three, go clamps and offensive pests on bronze. Please do not be one of those people that come to the park without this badge. You're gonna really need this badge. And this is why I believe it is the number one badge. Because I, I can tell you guys right now, I'm gonna go ahead and exit this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show you what people do. I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and come down here real quick. All right, so check this out. If you guys look at that, he just rim ran. He passed him the ball all the way up court and he rim ran. I know you guys seen it. Look at this. Not guarding anybody. Hezzy behind the back. Okay. Set up. Big rim run. Coming soon. Kick out. Everybody is going to be rim running. Uh, he shot an air ball? That's tough. Now, that Jalen dude was the person who got the ball and he just rim ran. All right. Look at this. All right. Boom. Up. Bump. Okay. He was, he was ready to rim run. Let's believe that. Look at this guy. No stamina. Got fouled. 
All right, let's see. I want to show you guys one last play. Look at that. Can Rim run? Yes, he can. And he got... Oh, he didn't get fouled. Okay. But look at this. He didn't want to pass it at all. He ran down court and laid it up. All right, that's an outlet. I like it. I like it. Now that they scored, let's see if they rim run again. Look at this. Look at this. Step back. Okay, this time he pulled up, but I believe that he wanted the rim run again. Listen, you guys are going to run into a lot of rim runners, and I'm telling you guys right now, man, if you do not have off-ball pass as a guard, something wrong with you. Now, I, now I'm, I ain't going to lie to you guys. The reason why I got a whole bunch of bronze badges is because I've been testing. I played with my big on stream last night, but let me show you guys what I have set up on this build. This is my setup for my power forward. I just showed you guys a video about this build and the way to set the defensive badges up. I believe that I didn't have on off ball pests and I think I had on heart crusher. I think I didn't have on clamps and I think I had on post move lockdown. That's cool and all, but heart crusher, that's only when you're in the twos situation. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm running threes or, or I'm running a wreck, off ball pest is it now but with that being said i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys want to see my jump shots for my guards my scoring machine in particular or if you guys want to see that scoring machine build creation and everything like that please leave a like on this video um i have no goal i just want to see your support you know what i mean if you met if you rock with my videos and stuff like that leave me a like man i'll see you guys down in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed your boy ikc signing out peace